If you expect to earn over $200,000 per year selling final expense insurance and you, one, have a strong work ethic, two, are a talented professional salesperson, and three, you actually have the funds, the money necessary to invest into your insurance business, then this video is absolutely for you. Before we get into it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're a new viewer. We're putting out new insurance sales content and final expense sales training videos every week. And if you stick around until the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a copy of our free new agent telesales file. Now, this thing has sales materials that I believe you're definitely gonna to wanna to use for selling final expense insurance remotely if you're doing it from the luxury of your own home. The first thing that you'll need to make over $200,000 per year is a system that enables you to make a lot of sales presentations every single day. Now, our top producers use an appointment system where the clients actually fill out a form requesting a quote, they're then directed to set an appointment on the insurance agent's calendar, and then the agent calls at the given time and makes their sales presentation. With this type of system, a top producer can make like eight to even over 12 presentations every day. These calendar funnel appointments and lead generation platforms are actually being sold across, well, I see ads on YouTube and Facebook for like, I hate to say it, anywhere from five to over $10,000. The truth is even these, unfortunately, they're just not geared towards generating appointments. In other words, they, they mainly get you a lot of leads. Remember, when someone sets an appointment, their intent is gonna be higher than someone who just fills out a lead form, right? You're also gonna need a highly effective sales presentation script with a proven track record, and most agents who try to develop their own script fail. Simple fact is they do that because, well, in, in most cases, they're really just trying to wing it based on something they either I don't know, saw on YouTube or maybe based on the presentation that they were using as a face-to-face -face agent. My face-to-face -face sales presentation is completely different. Like it's not even close to the one that our remote agents use. Understand there are also a bunch of things that must occur during the sales presentation, including lots of rapport building, identifying the need for the insurance and why the client and you are even speaking. And of course, you wanna separate yourself and your products from the other final expense agencies and, and agents that are out there. Just like with a final expense face-to-face -face presentation, I like the idea of addressing other types of life insurance. You definitely want your client to clearly understand exactly how term insurance works that it's only designed to insure people who pass away early in life and how whole life insurance is designed to cover funeral expenses when the client dies, no matter how old they are or when it happens. Since most people that you present to will hesitate and do you know, what they've been doing their whole life, which is procrastinate on purchasing this type of insurance, I believe that it's really important to understand why people make the objections and to have a way of making the objection part of the application process, really. Like, you know it's coming, so what can we do to just make it normalized? And I know I've mentioned this in other videos. Uh, recently, I have for sure. There are books on this, and I would definitely suggest starting there. Some agencies like ours teach a straight line selling system based on persuading and influencing people through building value in the product Meanwhile, the agent is building a lot of rapport too. Let's just spend a minute talking about the products. There are a lot of carriers out there and agencies that push different final expense carriers and different final expense products for various reasons. For newer agents, I do believe that having the most competitive products with easy underwriting along with very high approval rates is, is really important. But it's not everything, guys. I generally suggest that you write around three carriers as main products, 
Meanwhile, you're going to want to have several niche carriers to be competitive. And again, guys, the idea is to make it as hard as possible for other agents who might, you know, come in behind you and, and are trying to replace a sale that you make. You know, we don't want to make it easy for them, so we don't want to sell an expensive product. Replacing existing policies is very common in the final expense market. And I also recommend that you become a replacement artist instead of the agent who, you know, has to worry about having his or her sales replaced. And I don't want to spend too much time on talking about commission levels, so let's just assume that your first year commission is, I don't know, around 105% for the main products that you're selling, along with maybe, let's say, 60 to 70% for guaranteed issue products. Now, a little while ago, I did mention the importance of being a talented salesperson slash professional. Guys, this is where a lot of agents fall between the cracks. It, it takes time to develop the skill set to close life insurance and or final expense sales over the phone. And therefore, very few agents ever get to acquire the skill set needed to become a top producer, as it takes several months or even potentially years for some of us that are a little slower and will never make the kind of money that we're talking about making in this video. And this is where the work ethic has to make up for the lack of talent or lack of skill set. Again, guys, remember, we're talking about making like 200,000 per year plus. Most folks in the United States work around, I want to say 40 to maybe 50 hours so that they can earn right around 40 to $50,000 per year. To cut through the learning curve and to develop the skill set, you're going to most likely need to put up some serious hours grinding it out on the phone. I want to say maybe like 60 plus hours per week, at least in the short term, you know, until you've developed top producer like closing skills. The agents that we have who are earning the kind of money that we're talking about are actually putting in like 10 plus hours per day of telesales work. Is it hard work? Yes. Is it a heavy grind? Absolutely. Now, is the reward worth the hard work and effort? My opinion, and I believe that for most people, yeah. Well, I mean, if you don't lose your marbles during the process, that is. And with that being said, let me just end the video with a, well, kind of a transparent statement. Let's just say it. Most agents will not develop the skill set needed to sell insurance at the high level that we're talking about because they won't invest the time and the money, and it's, it's not even one or the other, it's usually both that it actually takes to get there. The good news is that as long as you have the work ethic and the finances to invest into your insurance sales business, I think most insurance agents can get good enough to, well, at least earn over $100,000 per year selling final expense and life insurance products over the phone. For a copy of the free new agent telesales file that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. If you'd like more information on working with us on our remote final expense appointment funnel platform, just shoot me an email at that same address. Most important guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else should fall right into place. Now, put on that headset and do something good for somebody today. Happy hunting.